All right. Uh, hey guys, I just wanted to thank everybody. Uh, hundred over a hundred subscribers. Wow, really, really cool. Thank you for watching. I'm working on this um, Space Wolf Captain guy for somebody. Uh, he's coming out pretty good. I'm kind of happy with it. Anyways, um. Thought I would do something special for you guys and just show you a lot of the videos that I never finished for whatever reason or, uh, or I, uh, you know, they ended up on the cutting room floor. So I hope you enjoy it and, uh, oh, you know what I wanted to do was, um, uh, talk a little bit about, um, why I started doing these videos. Actually, I started just by watching a lot of YouTube videos and actually, um, Tony Pony was the guy, you know, I'd watch all his videos, and I thought, well, yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, I thought I would um, sort of start my own thing. So, Tony, if you're watching, thanks. Uh, everybody else, enjoy some of the um, st stuff that um, didn't make uh, the YouTube channel that I got. So, enjoy. Your planes, right? uh, <laughs> no, it's making a spot so he can't land his copter back there. That? No, that's a model. You have a drop on making deep strikes and terminals. Oh, really? That was a, it's a GW approved model. Look at your Titans. Look at your Titans. This is our crappy ass side here. Of, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what happened to our tanks? Man? They're over there. They're dead. <laughs> okay. Okay, so our objective is that building in the center. Wow, this thing's a really good video. This is gonna <laughs> I've chose to bring in just the majority of my armor. My objective is to take over that building and whose deployment zone is six inches within the building. Now. So um, we're gonna roll for first turn and see what happens. What am I fighting? 230 man clan rats, 19 plague monks with a plague priest, warp lightning cannon, <laughs> seven Gisales, uh, Grey Seer, Warlock or Army Standard, uh, Warlock Engineer. Uh, I'm gonna proxy in some uh, Globadier can mortars. Uh, uh -huh. 25 slave, 25, 25, and uh, that's it. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. 20 storm vermin. Okay. I forgot to mention I have savage orc boar somewhere on my list. Right up there. So we know. All right. Fantasy is what a six turn game? No anymore. I believe it's six turns. Six turns and I Yeah. All right. So we have uh, top of turn. Is that a one? Yeah. The eagle. Okay. Top of turn one. Nothing. I just marched my entire army up. Uh, the only thing that squabbled was this squad of four boys and um, basically just marched forward to put the pressure on him. Okay. Alright, so I'll go ahead and do turn two. Oh, it is a draw. The official score is what? Four to six? Yeah. Four to six. So had we played a full game, I think the rats would have eventually... One. One. Yeah, I think so. Because I was in trouble. With all that, with all my middle gone, and he advancing there, I'd have a counter charge there, and then maybe a new charge for the Black Orcs. Hi. Spider Raiders were in bad position, so was the, um, the Chariot. But it was a fun game. Good game, Joe. Maybe next time we'll finish it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to shoot your intro game. <laughs> this guy's our points cameraman. He actually uploads them onto the internet. He's a YouTube guy. Yeah. <laughs> Check that out. Especially Just look for yeah. Heretic review. You. Let to see on my voice here. Listen to I subscribe to you by the way. You do. What's your username? Uh, MDSCNTST. I'm mad scientist about the vowels. I made it when I was like 13. Cool. Cool. Okay, so I get this question a lot. How do you play Blood Bowl? So I figure I'll just show you in one of my videos. Basically, uh, Blood Bowl is a fantasy football game, um, which you play with minis. You need a couple teams, a pitch, and you're going to need the uh, essentials, which are 
Templates. Scatter template for the ball. Fan throwing template. Sideline template. Uh, the specially made block dice. Eight sided dice. And some six sided dice. The pass ruler. And the rules. So here's this Skaven setup. It's uh, the. Um, I'm running kind of a, kind of a small zone here, but I'm expecting this team. This is more of a run team, so um, Skaven are, are uh, playing a little bit up. If I was the zombies, obviously the Skaven a lot faster, like to throw the ball more. I would set up a deeper zone. Basically, this is your legal setup. We have uh, these two zones here called the wide zones. You can only put two players up to two players in, in those zones, so that's legal. You must have at least three guys on the line of scrimmage, which is this middle red line here. I went with four because I'm expecting um, a harder hitting uh, run team um, up the middle, and then I have some guys in the back to defend if they break through my line. Okay, so after the um, kicking team sets up the uh, receiving team this turn, they obviously have to follow the same uh, rules of setting up a legalized um, uh, line of scrimmage. I countered by putting the uh, werewolf and the flesh golem here to um, help bust through the line. They're gonna. I, the, my thinking is I'm gonna probably um, get the ball and try to run it up the middle or one of the sides. I've got the ghouls back here because they have eh, decent agility, so they could pick up that ball. And then I have a lone um, white off to the in the wide zone to give me an option, um, and that's basically um, the counter. Not job for me. Not job make no sound. Echo for me. Echo for me underground. They got me, they lay got me down In bed by city, it made my heart beat no sound Beat no sound, beat no sound, beat no sound